How to make a vertical pallet herb garden. Okay, this is a preview of the final build. Get yourself at least two pallets, preferably of the same type. We'll be needing the extra boards from the second pallet. You shouldn't need to pay for the pallets. Just go to an industrial area or at the rear of some stores or warehouses and ask to speak to the manager. Most of them are very welcoming to your request as it normally is more work and money for them to have these pallets removed. Here are some options for cutting your boards. I prefer to use a circular saw for speed but a jigsaw is a more economical option. Get yourself a crowbar also known as a wrecking bar and avoid the short ones as you don't get much leverage. A hammer and nails or a nail gun for speed. The lower end models are reasonably priced and are okay for occasional home use. Start from one side and prise up each board where it connects with the runner using the bent claw or the crowbar. Do this gently to avoid cracking the wood. Remove all the nails from the boards and the runners using the crowbar nail claw and a hammer. For speed we remove stubborn nails with an angle grinder. Arrange the boards to your preferred layout. We decided to have three levels and each level will have three herb planting boxes. Securely nail each board in place. The opposite side is a mirror image of what we are doing here. We are moving the bottom board to align with the end of the runners. Here I'm marking a straight line down both sides and trimming off any excess board. This is more for aesthetics. Now to cut the base inserts to size for every herb box and nail them in place from both sides. Cut one final long board to size for the base boxes and nail in place. Next I'm cutting two small length boards which will be used as supports to hang the pallet from the wall. I'm drilling two screw holes at the top of each support. The next part is optional, but lining the herb boxes with plastic bin liners will give better water retention and prolong the life of the wood. I'm using half inch pneumatic staples for speed, but a standard staple gun is also good. Off camera we held the herb pallet in place and marked the positioning of the screw holes. Now I'm drilling the screw holes and locating the wall plugs. Here we are holding the pallet in place whilst I screw it to the wall. If you don't have any extra help to hand, you could use some bricks or something similar to raise the level of the pallet while screwing it to the wall. And finally the vertical herb pallet garden is planted. As you can see there are two earlier models made. Each one has its own character. If the video was useful, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel. Many thanks.